Sir John. It's a, a fabulous occasion today celebrating two incredible teams. Yeah, absolutely right. And I think what's wonderful about it is the fact that you know, it brings the whole community together in such a positive way. And it's nice to go to a game when, when you know you're not going to lose. <laughs> so you can't lose. You can't lose when you've got two teams like this, can you? It was great. I thought possibly we might get a draw, but a uh, pretty big scoreline, if I might say so, 5-8. <laughs> but no, they were good. And I, I think um, I was trying to keep, I was trying to keep um, a count of how many people on the pitch towards the end. It seemed to get bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> I didn't think there was any room for um, you know, anybody else on there, really. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But but also loads of people on the pitch now to the families and friends of all the of all the players who have achieved so much at this football club, and it's about them, isn't it? Absolutely. I think they've enjoyed the occasion. They've enjoyed coming out again, putting the strip on, getting out there, a lot of cam camaraderie and so on. It's just a great positive occasion, and well done, Reading Football Club for putting this on because I think it's a very important gesture. I think the fans have appreciated it and served so the players and everybody else so well done and terrific and a fantastic turnout from those supporters too you know the, the ones yeah. who came in particular so like vocal and it just relished the occasion didn't they they did indeed everybody was in good spirits and see smiles on everybody's faces lovely day for it couldn't be better and obviously there's a surprising amount of talent still out there you know these guys have aged a bit since they won <laughs> the titles but they're still still good footballers well indeed i mean hunty the silver fox as i'm going to call him now uh, I mean, he was brilliant. It, the way he just sort of kept on slipping the ball around the back and uh, and then firing people that nobody seemed to notice, I thought it was quite incredible. No, good stuff, good stuff. And Leroy Lita, well, you know, he hadn't lost it, has he? <laughs> and, and all of them, in fact, uh, Kevin Doyle and so on and so forth. I mean, they're all legends in their own right. So it's very difficult to, you know, pick anybody out because they're all so good. So absolutely good. And obviously the players have been having a chance to catch up with each other, you know, sharing the dressing room again. But also I'm sure they've been, you know, I'm sure you've been having a great time seeing some of those old faces, the ones who brought a lot of success to this football club. Absolutely. I think it's um, communication and, you know, old, old um, friendships restored. And there's a lot of them been talking to me and they say they haven't seen some of, the, some of their co-players co for years, years and years. And... Um, so it's interesting to see what they're doing these days, where they've landed up and so on and so forth. So, yeah, just a great bonding occasion and a great um, opportunity and a, a great thing that Reading Football Club has done.